the top of the mountain, baby. I got my kings, got my queens with me. They ain't playing around. Look at them. They're looking good. Listen, where are you guys at, man? We need to make it to the top, man. Look at the top. Look at the view right here. We're on Stone Mountain, Georgia. Listen, man, I'll tell you right now, we did it. Next time, come with us. Like I said, because the bottom is too crowded. So let's get to the top. My boy's accent, another fire track. I'm a go ham, we gon' get that bag back. Every morning, 8 a.m., you bet I'm hitting the squats. So the gram look pretty with my ass on the yacht. All my bitches independent, they be making a lot. Whole crew getting lady off a couple of bots. But if I gotta chase a check, then I'm not nice. If I gotta send a threat, should be shot twice. And if the contract shit won't sign it, bitch, I won't sign it. Damn, what's up, man? It's your boy, Coach Hustle, and this is the new episode, man, Coach Hustle and Friends, man. I'm really excited, man, because one, man, a little life update. Um, As you guys know me, you know, I'm from the south side of Atlanta, Clayco to be exact, man. Um, been living pretty much all my life on the south side, which is currently over here by Camp Creek at a townhouse. I loved it, but I had an opportunity, right, to move downtown. Um, so right now, we're this is our first official night in a little little condo action, you know what I'm saying? I call it, this is a part, but I call it a little condo action. I overlook Atlanta. I mean, I got all the amenities, everything I wanted, everything I really needed for my business to grow. I got a 24 hour gym right in downstairs. So man, I'm loving that, man. So today's today's video is gonna be, whew, it's gonna be a mother, it's gonna be a mother. Cause, because I'm conquering another goal, a conquering, a con um, remix, wicked, wicked, wicked. I ain't cutting that out. Listen. I'm conquering something today, right? As you may know, you guys that follow my channel, um, or just follow me on social media, um, that in 2021, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, right? Type 2 diabetes. I, I can't blame on nobody else but myself, right? I was 308 pounds, um, bad knees, bad back, um, bad skin, everything you want to say, but I was falling apart. So this year, I made a decision to go ahead and go all in. Now, I had lost the weight. I lost like 75 pounds but I still have bad habits, right? I still have bad habits, but this year, 2024, I am now in remission. It took me 60 days to go super hard. I'm now in remission. Now we're, now we're working on body composition and it was something else on that checklist that I had to check out in 2024. One, one thing that I've already accomplished to get my blood sugar back to regular, back to normal, and I did that, all right? We'll talk about that later on. Um, the second thing I want to do as far as my fitness goals was to conquer Stone Mountain, right? If you live in the sweet city, sweet state of Georgia, you know where Stone Mountain is. So many people walk up it, walk down it, walk up it, walk down it, sometimes two or three times a week, right? As for me, I only did it once, right? That was 2017, I made it up once, right? Um, after that, I had back problems, knee problems, and I was 300 pounds, thinking I used to, I used to be, a, I, I was an athlete, right? So I would go with my friends, we'll go over the mountains and there's like a checkpoint. And I get to that checkpoint and I couldn't go no farther. Like I mentally wanted to go farther, but my body wouldn't allow me. My body just wouldn't allow me, man. So um, it always haunted me, right? I hate that feeling of sitting there alone when the rest of my friends go up the mountain and reach the mountaintop, they reach the summit of the mountain and I'm down there at the checkpoint, hurting, throbbing, damn near in tears can't breathe, right? Because I was trying to do something that I wasn't ready for. So this year, I decided that I was going to do it. Now, I had thought about, I had told myself I was going to do it in, in May. We're here right now, we're actually currently in March, right? This is my month, March Madness. So I was talking to my, 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 my friends, right? My business partners, Shay and Tip, we, had, we was having lunch. And I was telling them, man, 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 Stone Mountain be kicking my ass, right? I ain't, I, I'm going to go in May. I'm going to conquer it in May. Tip was like, nah, we're going to conquer it next week. I'm like, next week? Come on now. Come on. I ain't ready. I ain't ready, right? But mentally, I had to make a decision, right? I said, chances to make champions, and I'm not going to let this stop me, just like I didn't let diabetes stop me, right? So be, being a, being dealing with blood sugar, you got to watch what you eat. You got to watch how you exercise. Like I said, man, the gains are coming through right now. We're we working on it. We working on it. I ain't there yet. Like I said, I'm about 12 weeks out from being where I really want to be at. So this is going to help me out. So I'm going to take you on this journey. Uh, we're getting ready to go ahead. We're going to be there at 9 30. It's about an hour, about two, about an hour and a half to go. So of course, I got my I got my creatine. 
in my pre-workout through Ghost. I'm not sponsored, right? But I love this pre-workout and I mix it with these hydration sticks from Bum. This is uh, your Chris Bumstead. I mean, I ain't, I ain't sponsored by none of these people, but if they want to sponsor me soon, look, when, when, I, when the views get up, we're going to watch it, right? Then my breakfast, that's going to be my pre, that's my pre, uh, pre-workout, so I can go up that mountain. I love pre-workout. I don't care, man. I feel geeked up when I drink pre-workout. This one here, this is the whey protein, right? This is my breakfast through Ghost again. I love their products, clean products. I love their marketing. I love their colors. I watch it on YouTube. Them guys be doing it. So I'm a big fan of Ghost, right? Like I said, I'm not sponsored, but I love them, right? Then I got my, I'm gonna eat two bananas with this all natural peanut butter. Now I, I gotta find me a better peanut butter, but this one's pretty good. I got this cause it's only got four ingredients, right? I uh, said, so, you know, so the four ingredients and it's only got four, was it? Yeah, only four percent, only four grams of sugar. So I, I take a little bit of this, I put it on my banana, right? For potassium. People say, oh, you diabetic, you don't know to eat fruit. Listen, I beat it, right? And what I did was, it was crazy when I first um, got diagnosed, people were like, stay away from fruit. Fruit is the devil. It's got too much sugar. But you got to understand it's wrapped up in fiber, right? And I needed fiber. Now, I was staying away from bananas for like two years, but I was still eating goddamn Little Debbie snacks. What the fuck was I thinking, right? How I'm going to stay away from God's fruit, right? Because people tell me to, but I'm fucking eating fruit, high fructose corn syrup. Listen, man, you got to think about You got to think about reality, man. So I said, look, God put fruit here. I'm going to eat fruit, right? I'm going to do it in moderation, but I'm going to eat it. And I'm going to go ahead and keep on going. Like I said, my blood sugar was through the roof. People say, how do you walk around with that blood sugar? Now it's normal levels. It's been that way for two weeks, you guys. So clap it up for your boy. But anyway, we finna go ahead and get started. I finna put this in my body and I'ma see you at the mountain. Car with my girl TIP. Tip tip. We're gonna get this motherfucking money. I ain't scared. You you're scared tip? I'm scared, man. Right. Right. We out here, man. She's over there sleep. Tip asleep over there. Uh, man, I've been here since 8.30. Since 8.30? What the fuck you doing since 8.30? He said nothing. Yeah, man, man. But look, man, we're getting ready to head out, man. See y'all in a minute. Yo, I'm super nervous. I was a big dog. Don't be nervous. Listen, man. Last time this motherfucker man, I don't kick my ass. We're gonna make it today. We're gonna make it today. Shay up here somewhere, but she got she down. Up, oh, it ain't that big. Is this the start of it? Mm -hmm, start. Hey, man. Let's go. Just at the beginning. I'm all right, tired in the bitch. Get for the dog. Bam. Look, we're halfway to it. I stopped right here because show them the area tip. This is usually where I stop at. This is usually where 
The mountain done kicked my ass and I can't go no farther. So for the last three times I came to the mountain, that's where I stopped it. Not today, baby. Not today. We finna go to this mountain. We finna kick his ass. I ain't playing today. See you at the top. We almost at the top, y'all. Oh, this shit got me now. You know, so no, no. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna beat it. You don't know me. You don't fucking know me. We're going to the top. We almost there, y'all. Uh, the air gets real thin at the top. So everybody, you can say, I'm good. I almost made it. Fuck that. We're going to the top. We're going to the top. She don't caught her second win. She was hurting earlier, now she up there. She don't caught that second win. Come on. Let's get a tip. She done caught that second win. She done caught that second win. She pushing it through now. That's what I'm saying, man. We almost there. The Just, like I said, man, see at the top because the bottom too crowded. I got my boy Rashad coming up the mountain. He conquering his biggest fear, y'all. Listen, y'all know him. He got it. Let's go. Big dog status. That right? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Keep going. Let's Don't go. even stop for me. Keep going, me. boss man. They can't beat me. Let go. You can't stop. Hey. Ah. Ah. We'll this what we doing. We made it to the top. Made it to the top. Got my team. 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 I made it to the top, man. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, if I can give you some healthy shit and make it taste good, exactly. we fucking winning. And so once I seen, like, you know, going around here and tasting all this other healthy shit, and I'm just like, this ain't it, right? Like once people really catch on to juices and the taste and that shit really truly works, y'all, man, this is gonna be a multi billion dollar empire. Hey. I know that. Definitely, definitely. I love it. And then you have some herbalists, they only focus on healing, you know, helping you be healthy. Yeah. They only dig deep into the herbs where you can still get the pain. There's an herb for everything. Yeah. To scorp your whole body. You can have fuck your dream body just by fucking consuming herbs. Exactly. And a lot of herbalists don't tap into that shit. So So that's what set you apart. That was the taste apart. and you know the scope that herbs and all that. Great. I'm here for the healing. Juicy's is healthy, fit, and fine. I'm gonna give you the healthy. I'm gonna help you be fit, baby, and we're gonna get finer. All right, ah, we take it. What you say? Yes, yes, yes that's your thing. Yes, I. Now, yes, man. Day. I didn't know if I wanted to help her or take a video. Of yeah, it. he ain't shit. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I like, should I take a video of her? I yeah. got day, you know. Oh, you Listen, man, but I decided to do the right thing and helped out, you know, but Listen. I was real close. How, how you feeling, Tip? Dude, I told you I feel like my ass been <laughs> <laughs> You said you feel like your ass. Oh, shit, I'm going to feel myself. <laughs> hey, I'm going to put this phone up, man. Listen, we made it to the top. That's it. So I conquered the mountain. My friend, Tip, early at the top of the mountain, it was so slippery because it rained yesterday, right? So it was slippery as shit. So I, she ended up falling and busting her ass, right? I'm sitting there laughing, talking shit. I get to the bottom of the mountain, talk to my man, Isaiah Quarrell. He's played for the University of Georgia. Talking talking about the rental car business and shit. I'm a fucking make the wrong turn, turn at the bottom of the mountain. At the bottom, I slip and do the motherfucking split like a goddamn ATL stripper back in the day. Motherfucking fuck my knee up. I hope I don't think it's torn, but that shit hurt like a bitch. I know it's spring. Man, this nigga here, boy. Hey, I gotta keep on going though. So I put a little ice on this bitch, put a little icy hot, and we're gonna keep on rolling. So your boy conquered the mountain. I did it. I did it. In the turn, I got down to the bottom of the mountain and I slipped and twisted my fucking knee. I got more fucking.
Got a brace on my knee. Hope I ain't fuck it up too bad, man. Cause you know, it's entrepreneur world. You ain't got no regular insurance. Hell, sure ain't got no insurance. Good people keep, keep it a buck with you. You know, so can't just run to the doctor and get an X-ray. Got to figure it out. So right now, man, this motherfucker limping around. And guess what? I guess the mountain said, "You gonna beat me, but I'm gonna take my pound of flesh." So right now I'm dealing with this fucking twisted knee. The funny thing about it, my girl Tip, she she fell like I said, and I'm laughing. Ten minutes later, I fucked my whole knee up, bro. So still gotta work, still gotta do things, you know. So this is this day in the life. What's going on, man? But y'all saw me. I conquered that mountain, man. That shit was. Phew, whew, I'm happy. Had to go get my cut, get, get my beard cut. You know, Michael Jordan ball head, but you still gotta get a cut, man. So. Listen, man, I'm just, I know it's kind of like a rambling, man, but I'll just let you know, man, I'm out here hurting, but we're still working.